Hey guys, okay, so for this tutorial, we are doing a, a fun a fun exercise on learning how to use the quadrant feature that um, that Procreate offers, as you just saw me mistakenly demonstrate that for you. So I have my canvas open. I'm using the exact same size that I used for previous two videos that I have done showing the basics. And here's how you can get this quadrant feature turned on when you, before you start doing your artwork. You just click on your tool button at the top. You click on edit drawing guide. You make sure uh, you're selected on symmetry and you have assisted drawing on and also rotational symmetry on. And finally, you make sure you have selected quadrant. All right, and then you click on done and it has applied this quadrant feature to that particular layer. So for this layer, I'm going to name it circle or center because we are going to be doing a center on this. Okay, now I'm going to change my background color. I have predetermined my colors already and I would like to make it this nice beigey yellow color. So there we go, I have that set. I'm gonna enlarge in this a bit so you can see what's happening. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do is go back to my center, I'm already selected, go back to my colors and selecting my nice eggplant purple that I have. Then we're going to select the squiggly little icon at the top, making sure that we have our selection to ellipse. I am now going to use the pen and create an ellipse and when you press down your finger onto it, it'll make sure that your circle is um, not stretched out, but like a perfect circle. I let go by mistake and that's why it's doing this right here. So we can just hit the backward button to kind of go back. There we go. And making sure we have the ellipse selected again, we're gonna go ahead and create one in the center and I'm pressing down here to make sure that it is perfect, like a perfect circle. I think this size is good enough right here and letting go we have it selected and now i'm going to fill it with the purple so i'm just going to click on fill layer right there and we have our circle now using these little lines that we have i'm going to make sure that it is centered and now that it's centered i think this is good we're going to go ahead and create another layer and we're going to call this leaves or vines, leaves, vines, whatever you want to call it. We want to make sure that the drawing assist is on and all this does is it makes sure that the same features for the quadrant that we have on the center layer is also reflected on the layer at the top. So you can see this. Although the quadrant layer wasn't quite needed for the circle because it was just like a circle. That's okay though. That's fine, no harm, no foul. I'm gonna make sure I select my dark green and this is what I'm going to be using to create some nice vines um, for our for our design. So the beautiful part about this is I just need to do it in this area and it'll reflect all over. So I'm gonna make sure that you have, you know exactly which brush I'm using. I'm keeping the brushes very basic so you don't have to download any new ones. We're just trying to get used to uh, how Procreate works before we go on to fancy things. So under calligraphy, I'm gonna click on monoline and that's what we're gonna pick. And we're gonna make sure that it is thin enough. Yep, I like that thinness. Okay, so I would like to create a couple of vines that are kind of flowing out from here. So I'm just gonna make sure that this layer is below the, selecting the layer, pressing down, making sure that it's below the center. Oh, it's actually created a new group. Selecting the layer, let's try that again. Perfect. And now we're gonna start creating some nice leafy vines. So let's do something that's coming out from here. 
there's one leaf. Uh, let's create another one that's kind of happening over here. And then I'm just going to make sure that it is touching the edge properly. And you can just kind of fix that by zooming in and just maybe adding an additional thicker line to it to kind of have that pan out properly. There you go. So there's one. I'm going to do another one kind of just protruding. Maybe that way? No. Let's do it happening this way here. And that's perfect. So you can see how it kind of does its own thing, right? So I let's do another one happening over here because I did want to kind of extend this a little bit. And I'm just going to make sure this attaches well enough and it's smooth. Perfect. And uh, let's see. I think it'll be nice to have a couple of small ones just kind of happening here. And then finally, uh, I think this is good enough for now. We can go on to our leaves. So for leaves, you can either have them extended coming from this area or or you can just have them kind of floating around. I'll leave that up to you. We're, we're just using this as a fun exercise to learn how this quadrant reflecting feature works for Procreate, which is a lot of fun. So I'm just kind of going ahead and creating my leaves and they are cute and repetitive in nature. So I'm going to create a couple kind of just like smaller ones at the edge. So we have some nice variance in um, sizing. Feel free to zoom in just like I'm pinching and kind of pulling things. Um, that's how you zoom into your sheet and just your canvas and get a nice, I guess, nicer, more accurate drawing of a leaf if you're kind of struggling with that like I am. So here we go, another leaf. And once we have all of that, we're just kind of going to survey and see if this is good enough. If you want to add some more, you can definitely add some more. Here's how I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add some kind of like what I was saying previously, some tiny ones but without like attaching them to the stem. This one's a different direction, so let's just make it this way. And I'll make one happening out like this. That's nice. Uh, let's do one over here too. And one just kind of coming out from this side and another one off on this side okay all right so I'm kind of liking how this repetitive pattern can happen feel free to kind of add it as and where you feel it's needed but make sure you're leaving some space for our flowers that we're going to be doing this one's too close here, so I'm just going to go in and add another one here. And what we're going to do with these leaves is we're going to give it a different green color so it kind of stands out and complements what we have going on. All right, so not to prolong this anymore, we're going to go right ahead and get some of the lighter green, which is right there. And now we are going to kind of click and drag the color onto these leaves. So let's just zoom in so that we can see it clearly and I'm just going to drag and drop the color in. And isn't this easy? The thing with the uh, with these is make sure that your drawing is closed up because if there's any opening at all, it'll not um it'll not work. 
So make sure that it is completely sealed off. There's no open edges to that. See, this is what happens if it isn't. It kind of takes over the whole background. So I'm just going to quickly do these and then we are going to go ahead and do the other green for the regular leaves. And I think we've got it all. Yep, perfect. See how amazing this feature is. It works so well. I'm going to go ahead and click the dark green and put it into these ones right here. So we have a little bit of variety in color and leaves and it keeps things interesting and fun. All right, so this is what that looks like. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do florals. The first kind of floral I wanna do is let's do um, create a new layer first of all and let's name it berries so I'm going to select my color and make sure that I have selected this nice purple that we have for the center and then making sure that I'm on the berry um, layer I'm going to click on it and make sure that I have drawing assist on and as soon as you see assisted that means it's on all right so Using the same um, brush and thickness, I guess, we're going to go ahead and create some cute little berries happening. So, actually, I think I want it to be slightly less thicker. So I'm adjusting that, and I'm going to go ahead and create some berries. Like elongated ones. Okay, that one didn't quite turn out as nice as I thought it would. So there's my stem. And here's my berry. Here's another one. Yeah, when you zoom in kind of you it's easier to do, but sometimes you kind of get lost with the thickness and your pressure is also dependent. So you kind of need to change that a bit. Alright, so we've got one there. Let's do some kind of floating around here at the top. And I think that would be pretty and cute. So I've got one there. There's another one. There we go. And I kind of like the idea of having another one on this one right here. And then just kind of one floating in the air just like that and now I'm just going to add a couple of dots to it as well just to kind of give it additional detail without <clears throat> going overboard so here's another one let's do one over here on this end actually instead of putting it right there I'm just going to make it right here almost kind of coming from the stem of the plant itself. And I like doing these in, in odd numbers. They just look nicer. And so we've got some nice purple elements happening. This is pretty, it's cute. Uh, it's also fun looking. I'm gonna do one more over here. And I'm just trailing off with doing like a couple of dots. Maybe do a dot here or there and such. Okay, so we've got this. Let's do, let's have another one happening over here. So I'm going to allow you guys to kind of take full reign on this. Not allow you guys, obviously. I want to encourage you guys to take full reign in this area and kind of just decide where you want your elements to be. I am showing you what elements we're using. Kind of just go with it and you decide where you would like to do these. All right, so we've got our nice purples and we're good to kind of go on to the next element, which is going to be 
let's do the oranges. So I do have some oranges involved in this too. The oranges, I am going to create another layer, rename it oranges, and making sure I have my orange selected. I am now going to also make sure by clicking on this layer to make sure that the drawing assist is selected. And now we can do our oranges. So oranges, I'm just going to do them very loosely and plainly as opposed to giving too much detail. I have it selected, right? Yes. So zooming in, I'm going to create a couple of little round shapes. Let's do one here. Let's do another one, just a tiny one over here, and maybe just like a, I was going to say do a dot, sure, why not, let's do a dot right there. Let's do one more here, and one more on this end, and you can attach them or decide not to attach them, I think I will leave that up to you guys, see if you want to kind of do anything there. These can be tangerines, I guess. I'm doing some not perfectly shaped, but this is also the style that we're kind of executing this in. And the whole point is to get comfortable using these features as opposed to perfecting your drawing. So once you know these features, you can practice more and have a blast creating some fun um, illustrations that you can use for your projects. So I think these are good. Let me just do one more here and a little couple of dots or tinier oranges here and there. Let's do three. No, I don't like that one. Nope. And it looks like a face. Let's do one there and then one tiny one there. Okay. Let's leave these as is and now we can move on to the flowers. So again, we're doing the same thing. We're going to create uh, a new layer, name these flowers. All right, and then clicking on that, making sure drawing assist is on and then clicking here. I'm going to select my nice bright pink red that I have. And so for the flowers, I think I'm going to make the, the brush slightly thicker and I'm going to create some nice florals just popping here and there for a nice pop of color. So let's do one happening here and what I'm the way I'm going to create these are pretty much like um, one, two, three and then I'm just doing like a bowl shape at the bottom and then dropping the color in. So you can see my shape is not perfect by any means. The little curves at the top are not perfect either, but the whole point is to add like a nice pop of color. You can feel free to kind of perfect it like I am doing if you wish, or if you are fine with just like nice organic shapes, run with it. And then the tinier florals, I'll just make like oval shape, just like these um, berries that we have going on. Let's do another one happening over on this end. And then I'm clicking and dragging my color here. I'm going to do one more on this end. This one's super tiny, so it's kind of like a similar shape, but, you know, again, not being perfected. Uh, let's do one over here on this end. And... So I'm doing the bowl first and then doing the three little things at the top and doing another one of those and then just more little bud looking elements here and there. And let's do one there as well. I like these little bud elements. I feel like they, there's cute little details that really add to a drawing or an illustration. So selecting my color, I'm just gonna drop that in there. 
Let's do another one. Whoops. Zooming in is always a great option when you're trying to do these little things. Here's another one. So you can see how this looks. I'm really liking how that looks. Um, turning this around. And going along with creating cute little florals for this piece, which oh, sometimes this happens. You got to use both your both your hands to kind of zoom in and out. But it's such a cool feature. I love the zooming in and out feature for Procreate. It is very, very, very cute and functional. It just makes me feel like I'm doing important things when I use it. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but it certainly makes me feel that way. All right, okay, so I think this is it for the florals. Um, now we can kind of go in and add a little more detail to kind of enhance how this looks, and we're almost done. Next little detail thing that I want to add to this is creating another layer. We're going to name this detail, obviously. Obviously, making sure that assisted drawing or drawing assist is on. We're going to make sure we have selected white. And for this, I think I want it to be a lot less... Uh, not as thick as this, so I'm going to bump this down brush size to like 1%. And we are going to create these little tiny dots to our flowers. And I'm just doing like three over these little pink florals that we have going on for, us, for ourselves. And then just one on the... Um, on the buds and again I feel like this you know adding loose detail like this really adds to your whole illustration and it makes it like next level pretty in my opinion so I think those are all the florals we had. So that's good enough. And then on the same layer, I'm not going to create another layer. I'm going to select the dark green that we had. And I'm going to select a very thin uh, pencil. Let, yeah, so under sketching, let's select the... Uh, no. Narinder pencil. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to, let's see how thick it is first. Okay, that's not too bad. We're going to select and add little stems from the flowers to the actual plant uh, or the branches. And feel free to kind of connect them however you want. This is your this is the your opportunity to kind of add in some thicks and thins into your into your um, illustration and it really really adds something pretty to uh, to your painting so here it might take a couple of tries you might say oh I like this I don't like this like let's attach it somewhere else uh, like what I was just doing so feel free to do that, but I'm loving the thick and the thins. Um, I think that's something else that really makes a painting or an illustration. There we go. I'm going to do one more over here and then one coming down this way. And we have a couple happening here. So I don't want it intersecting the leaf. So let's just do that. And then do one here. And then do a short one. 
undo. Do a short one here and then another one here. And I think that is it. I like that. Uh, let's also attach the oranges if you wish. Um, no, actually, instead of attaching the oranges, I'm just going to add a little bit of like dots to it at the end. And I'm using my white, but feel free to use like your dark green if you wish, or a different color. And again, it's just something I'm doing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, it's not that big of a deal in this painting here or in this illustration. Perfect. So we are done with this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just give this a drop shadow and then we'll put in a nice cute message in the center. So my drop shadow for this, it's exactly like how we did it in the previous tutorial from last week. I am going to duplicate this center um, layer. So I just swipe to the left and click on duplicate and it gives me a duplicated version of this below. I'm going to make sure, I'm just going to take off drawing assist. It doesn't need to be on for these layers here. And now I am going to select the bottom layer and then go on to this little magic icon at the top, click on Gaussian blur and I am going to click and just like move it along and you can see the blur happening and you can see this blue line happening so it's indicative of how much of a blur you're getting so you can get something super crazy like that or I'm going to settle for something like this perfect and then I'm just going to go to the um, layer again and click on the N icon and click on multiply and if you click on like if you click on all these options you can see how it blends in with the background so there's a couple of different options that you can pick but I'm gonna click on multiply it just gives it a nicer look and leave it at that <clears throat> and lastly if you want your blur to be slightly off like a drop shadow you can just kind of click and drag it off to the side uh, how do I undo reset so I'm just going to click mine downward and leave the up nice and clean. So that's what I want. And then finally, we are adding some text on it. So you can either choose to you can either choose to leave your text uh, by inserting text and that's just by clicking on the tool icon at the top and clicking on add. Let's just do it. You know what? Clicking on add, add text and let's just add happy. You know what? Mother's Day is coming up, so let's do this. Edit style. I'm going to click on this to make sure it's all uh, caps. And then I'm clicking on a font that I like and making sure that it is it is white. Yeah, that's not bad. Although I don't mind it being I don't mind it being the background color since it's going over the purple. I think that would be nice. So now I'm selecting my arrow tool, which is my selection tool, and I'm going here and just kind of dropping it in the middle. And once it's in the middle, what I'm going to do is edit the text. So edit text, and I want to decrease the size and increase the tracking. Yes, I always get them mixed up, tracking and letting sometimes. I know I'm a designer shouldn't all right and then finally the actual happy let's write mother I am going to select a which color should I pick I'm going to select the white and I'm zooming in and you can write it in your own way I like to do it fancy calligraphy oops let's make sure we have the right brush selected first of all so uh, let's select brush pen, which is under calligraphy. And let's see how thick is it. That's fine. It's slightly thicker. And here we go. Mothers. Not 
crazy fan of how it looks, but it's okay for the sake of this tutorial. I don't want to like enhance the amount of time uh, this is taking. So the next thing we want to do is add days. So I'm just going to swipe on the happy layer right here and click on duplicate. So this duplicates that. Then selecting my selection tool, I'm just going to click and drag this down. And then finally, clicking on this, I'm going to go edit text. And then I'm going to type in D. And then also making sure that all caps are on so it's it looks exactly like the text on the top. And here we go. We have our cute little Mother's Day or anything that you want to make it, birthday, whatever, um, illustration. So hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you have any questions or additional concerns, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video or enjoy watercolor, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I put out a lot of watercolor videos and very recently Procreate videos. So thanks guys for watching and we'll chat soon. Bye.